What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I am so sorry I've been gone for so long. I had personal stuff I had to take care of and you know just getting the right mindset. But I'm back and I'm sorry for those of you that have been waiting. But it's been official. It's been a year since I've owned the GTR. So it's time to do a little review and let you know what are the small few things I actually hate about the car. And you know is it still worth it to get it? Um, well keep watching the video and you'll find out but cold startup so she sounds good but she could be louder so let me get a little away from it so we're gonna clean up the car real quick because she is messy and dirty and then fill up with gas and then we'll find a good spot to pull over and discuss a little bit of what are the few things so far out of everything I've only been able to find four things four things that I can that you know just irritate me about the car is it still a great car and should you still buy it in my opinions yes you definitely I love the car but these four things are still things that you're just if you happen to buy the car you're gonna notice them and they're gonna be a little quite they're gonna be quite a little bit irritating okay okay so i filled her up with gas and i gave her a quick wash by the way for some reason all the drivers in colorado um decided hey i don't want to drive anymore so we're having a shortage for gas so the prices have gone way up and i'm paying four dollars and 19 cents just <laughs> to fill her up four dollars and 19 cents a gallon by the way so like i said there was just a few things that <sighs> they're pet peeves really they're not anything major that makes me want to deter me away from buying the car or should deter you away from buying the car because honestly without a doubt it is an amazing car these are just small pet peeves so number one on the list of things that i hate <laughs> and this is something that can be fixed so this is why this is first on the list and that is brake dust major brake dust from these um, from these brakes that are on the GTR so I did give this a good blast and I have actually gone very in-depth into trying to clean this and I'm telling you this is just that's within two or three days and I'm surprisingly I'm actually I don't brake too hard on it I do like to engine brake a little bit I'll downshift um, to try to save the brakes as long the longevity of them as much as possible but I mean that could be easily fixed if you do like a ceramic coat on it, you can just spray it and it should wash right off. So that's not too big of an issue. So that's number one. Now let's go straight into number two. Now number two, we gotta get inside the car for you to see this. This is weird. If anyone out there that has a GTR totally understands this and how annoying it is. So go ahead and turn it on. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in reverse. Listen, not that, my bad. So go ahead and I'm gonna put this in reverse and just give it a listen. Why is there a beeping sound? I'm not backing up a truck, I get it. The GTR has a fat rear end and I love it put that sound that sound is so annoying I don't understand why the engineers decided to put that in there and you can't hear it from the outside that is all with inside the car look I get it if there is maybe you have a hard time remembering what gear you put it in but even then that that's a, that's a far that's a far stretch uh, yeah now the third thing the third thing is well i can't really do it because i'm terrible at vlogging while driving in fact i shouldn't do that because that's just terrible uh the third thing is that this thing will shift very quick it's it's an automatic it's amazing at it but the problem is it'll get into those higher gears and then as I'm coming onto an off ramp and I need a turn quick I'll still be as I come to the stop I'll still be like in fourth or fifth gear it doesn't downshift quick enough for me to punch it and get onto it now it doesn't happen like that all the time 
that's just sometimes, but it's enough to annoy you and get you a little, make you a little nervous on causing an accident. Now, you, it does have paddle shifters. I can downshift real quick with these. Problem is, sometimes I, I don't want to do that. Sometimes I just want to be able to leave it in automatic. Now, I really wish that this thing was in, not an automatic. I wish it was a manual. I wish it was in stick. Oh my God, I would kill for that. But it's not, and I understand, you know, all newer cars, they're, they're automatic. And these things shift so fast that I understand you would want this in an automatic, but there's just something about driving a manual. It's so much more fun. Um, I mean, that, those are the main issues, honestly, I have. This is a short video because there's not very many issues I have with the car. It really isn't. Now, that door needs to be greased. Squeaky. Now, there's one more. <laughs> this, there was no getting rid of this one. There was no deterring this one away. Everyone, it doesn't matter if they are driving their mom's minivan or it is a Volkswagen Beetle. If I'm just cruising along, don't get me wrong. Sometimes I want to get on it. <laughs> Sometimes I just want to cruise and I get a little nervous because I don't want to get in trouble because the insurance on this is ridiculous. So imagine getting a ticket. I bumped my insurance rates way high, but everyone in their mama wants to race. Um, I get it. Don't get me wrong. If you haven't seen one of these just cruising around, you see one, I'd be excited too. I, I'm still stoked just seeing the car in my own garage, but I don't always want to race. Sometimes you, sometimes you need to. If I see another car out there and, you know, he's flexing hard, sometimes, sometimes Godzilla's got to get on it, right? Which, by the way, I have this awesome idea for plates, so I'm going to get custom plates for it soon. Um, hopefully, I hope no one has these plates because they're an awesome idea, especially considering the color of the car. We'll see if anyone Colorado. I'm not sure if it's just Colorado or if it's all plates uh, within the database. If someone has them, you can't have them. Or if someone could have the same plates as you, but they're in a different state. I should look into that. But guys, a short video. I am so sorry for taking so long to make another video. For all those new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. I definitely appreciate it. Um, it's motivated me to get back in there. And you know, for those of you that have hit me up saying, asking why I haven't made a video in so long, I'm sorry. Thank you. It does motivate me to know that you guys do want to see more content. More content is on the way. I promise you guys I'm going to hit it hard. Hit smash that like button if you enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more content like this, especially if you want to see more content with the GTR. Sometimes I feel like I'm, I'm kicking a dead horse when I make so much content about the GTR because I feel like uh, maybe they don't want it. They're tired of it. But if you guys aren't and you guys want to see much, much more, then you know smash that like button and let me know in the comments down below and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe already and you know it just helps me out till next time guys have a good one